partners in this room in terms of choosing partners and, and working with partners, and what did you learn with that experience? I mean, you guys started out at Michigan together. Yeah, right? he and I uh, uh, pledged the same fraternity. Uh, we really didn't know each other uh, for the first three years. Uh, I started a real estate business, uh, and one night I was at the fraternity house, and he said, you know, if your business grows, uh, I'd love to work in it. And so we shortly thereafter got another building, and he was our, my first employee. And, uh, and we worked together for a couple of years, and then I graduated from law school, and uh, I sold him the business. And the last thing I said to him was, when you get tired of screwing around and you want to come play with the big boys, call me. And of course, you know, I was being somewhat facetious. But three years later, he called me and he said, do you remember the last thing you said? And I said, yes. And he said, well, I'm ready. I said, come on. And he came to Chicago and uh, we built this thing together. Uh, we lived out of the chain, same checkbook. Uh, he could finish my sentences. Uh, if I was negative, he got positive. If I was positive, he got negative. Uh, but it was a it was a constant reaffirmation of trust. And uh, I'd like to suggest to everybody, I wish everybody was lucky enough to have that kind of an experience that's really rare. Um, and obviously, uh, you've got to, you, you, there are lots of elements to it. I mean, one of the things that was very relevant to me was that when I said, come on, uh, I specifically didn't hire him. I didn't want an I didn't want him to be an employee of me, and so literally we started and figured out a way to for him to participate and then grow his interest as he contributed, and uh, and so we, we never had a, a subordinate role between the two of us. Uh, I think the last thing I comment on, which might be relevant to this room, uh, I think that we were phenomenally successful as partners because we never brought our families into the business. So I saw him and his wife maybe once a year, vice versa for him. Uh, and over my career, uh, I, most number of partnerships that have come apart all start with how come he's traveling more than you are or how come he's doing this of me, or, 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 and uh, um, I think building a sophisticated and complex uh, partnership is difficult enough when there's only two people involved. <laughs> uh, three is a crowd, four is a fucking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have time for maybe one more question. 